Well, uh, the piano concerto was conceived many, many years ago uh, uh, with Simona Dinnerstein, who had first played my 12 variations on a Bach chorale. Uh, she, I believe, learned them in 2005 or 6. Uh, and subsequently, we had talked a, a fair amount about the possibilities of writing other works for her. In fact, the 12 variations had not been written for her, and so she was rather uh, eager to have me actually write something for her. Uh, and as our, our friendship and our professional relationship uh, continued, uh, we discussed more and more about the notion of a piano concerto. Uh, in the meantime, I had written a first movement of a piano concerto. I like to say, almost jokingly, that uh, I had always anticipated it to be the piano concerto that Debussy never wrote. Uh, and it was inspired and derived from a Bach chorale. And this was before I knew Simona at all. And of course, Simona is in love with Bach and is a Bach expert par excellence. Uh, and so when she discussed the idea of a piano concerto, I said to her, well, I have a movement, and I had anticipated continuing it, and then because I was busy with other works, and I'd always shelved it, and so on, so it never got developed beyond that. Uh, and she said, oh, absolutely, let me see it. And uh, so I played her the movement, or it wasn't a complete movement, but it was most of the first movement, uh, and she fell in love with it and said, "You, I, I really want you to write a piano concerto for me. Uh, and that was about four years ago, three and a half, four years ago. Uh, and then I set about uh, building the piece. I knew that I was going to use a, the Bach chorale that was the one that, that inspired the piece as the middle movement. Uh, and then I set about writing it. What was, I think was interesting was that it was a challenge for me to connect back to a work I had written some eight years before and had shelved. In the meantime, my compositional style had developed and perfected itself, I guess, and uh, here I was meeting myself uh, eight years before and trying to uh, continue uh, in my new language in a way, uh, and or my evolved language. Um, and it was, it was such a wonderful experience to find a young Philip Lasser uh, with myself being a little older uh, and seeing all the wonderful things that I think I had done more intuitively in those days and what I could then do as a more seasoned composer later with it. And so I set about writing the second movement, which wrote itself fairly quickly, and it's based on primarily the Bach chorale. Uh, and then, of course, as many composers are, uh, they're faced with this uh, tragic reality of what, what am I going to do for the end? Even when I had been writing the second movement, I had to finish the first, but still present in my mind was, how am I going to end this piece? And it's a, it's a very dramatic traumatic experience to think about. Uh, it's a blank page, it's an infinite possible world, and uh, to find what will work, what is sincere, what is accurate, what is correct and true to the piece uh, is extremely difficult. And as I was maybe two-thirds of the way through the second movement, something hit, almost like a thunderbolt, I guess, uh, and the phrase, which now I call my Schumannian chorale phrase, uh, which is the sort of main opening material for the third movement, once it gets going, uh, came in one flow. Uh, the whole, what the, the, if you remember in the score, it's two circles of it, uh, hence the title or partly, hence the title, uh, and the one circle came almost in one sitting, in one flow. And this was actually after about a year and a half and two years of composing, so of course it's, it's not as if it came easily, but it did come eventually when I was writing it phenomenally flowing and easy. Uh, and so I knew by that point, I knew that I had what I wanted for the mood, for the spirit, for the sense of that concerto. Uh, and then I finished the second movement, I went to the first, finished the first, and then continued on my way for the completion of the third movement. Uh, and it was completed in um, August of 2011. Uh, then I went about orchestrating, and the orchestrations were finished in April 2012.